Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 21st, 2022. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like, the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, yes, let's get to it. We'll start by looking at the uh, NASDAQ. And as you can see, we're down quite a bit today 1%. But we did rally up towards the 50 moving average, actually got towards the 14.2k and then gave all of those gains back, ending up in basically 1% down today. So Netflix had an absolutely horrible day today and the same goes for many of the major stocks. Facebook also down 7.77%. Uh, Nvidia down 3%, uh, Alibaba down 4%, Google down 1.5%. Yes, and the list goes on and on. Tesla also down roughly 5%. So it was not a good day for tech stocks and uh, therefore NASDAQ was uh, especially hard hit uh, considering that uh, S&P and um, Dow Jones were actually rallying today. So getting this often rejected from, by the 50 moving average, that is something to be concerned about. But if we break above the 50 moving average and get a daily candlestick close above it, then we may go to the highs and that could also mean that we could see this um, head and shoulder pattern, pattern play out go to the upside however if we break below the candlestick here 13.7 K then we may drop to the very low so this should be support at the bottom here and bring it below that then this will go significantly lower will drop even lower and then we'll most likely just continue with this uh, downtrend so this was just a rally and this was we'll see another major drop if you look at the technical indicators we can see that macd is still bearish stochastic is flat at this point and rsi is also flat if we look at the s p 500 so this is uh, looking fairly better. We did rally all the way up towards uh, 4,488, getting very close to 4,500, which is basically where we need to break above in order to go significantly higher. 200 moving average right here, 4,500. So we need basically a daily close above the 200 moving average in order to go higher. Same thing here. If we break, we break above the 200 moving average, we may see this head and shoulder pattern play out. But if we break below this candlestick, which is at 4,362, then we may drop to the lows yet again, which should be the bottom right here. And breaking below that, then we will see another low and we will end up within this basically bearish channel to the base and to the downside so that will just be a continuation of this drop and this will just be another rally but break it above the 200 then we may go back to the very highs if you look at technical indicators macd is still bearish but it is turning around so it looks like we're going to see something similar to this and we're going to see something similar to that and we'll have a crossing gear indicating uh, bullish momentum stochastic has already crossed and that is bullish and so is the rsi if we look at the Dow Jones, it is uh, looking much better than <clears throat> than the, the S&P 500 and the and the and the Nasdaq. We can see that this head and shoulder pattern is playing out at this current stage, and we have broken above the 200 moving average and closed above the 200 moving average. But we can see that we are running into resistance at the same place where we ran into resistance last last time. And this is also a period here and so on. Give up the day. So breaking above here, which is roughly 35.3K, uh, uh, then we may go to the all time highs. Technical indicators are looking uh, really good for the Dow Jones. We can see the MACD has crossed the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. Stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI, and there's a lot of room to the upside, upside too, still. So let's look at the DAX and DAX did a really nice run today to the upside closing. Um, let me get rid of that. So closing just at the 50 moving average and there is no pullback. So people were basically buying into the close and that is usually a very bullish shine. So if we get um, closing candle right 
above the 50 moving average uh, tomorrow, then we may see um, we may see um, this take up all the way towards the 200 moving average, which is up here at 50.3k. So there's another barrier here, here, which we need to overcome. That's a 14.8k, which we need to cross. And we need to cross the 200 moving average in order to go uh, to back to the all-time highs. If we turn around here and take out this candlestick, which is 13.8, then we may, may see a drop back to the very lows. Technical indicators do favor the upside. MACD is crossing the signal line, becoming bullish. Uh, Stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. So let's look at the VIX. And VIX is heading back towards the 200 moving average so at the moment it is basically tr uh, trending in between uh, these uh, this area here a high of roughly 25.28 and the lows here of give or take 21.12 200 moving average is also acting as a support so getting close to the 200 moving average we may see a bounce breaking above the 50 that may head us back towards the very highs here and breaking below uh, roughly 21 and that will then most, most likely drop back towards 18 or give or take if we look at technical indicators we can see that macd is still uh, bullish in negative territory stochastic is bearish and so is the rsi momentum at this current stage is technically to the downside and we may see one or more uh, one or two more trading days where this falls before going higher so let's look at the US tenure and finally we have a pullback here. So I said in yesterday's video that this was significantly overbought. It's not significantly overbought anymore due to the fact that we fell nearly 3% today and we also broke, uh, kind of sold into the end of the, of the session and that is also a very bearish sign that could mean that we'll see this drop all the way down to the uh, middle of the bullish band which is the 20 simple uh, moving average uh, before uh, going higher breaking below here here close the door, door to the 50 moving average which will go this way which is roughly uh, 2 2.383 and below that will go significantly low but uh, 20 exponential uh, 20 simple moving average is, uh, is expected to hold if we get to that point last time we pulled back we didn't even get close to the 20 simple moving average if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is about to cross the signal line becoming bearish stochastic is bearish and the, so is the rsi so hope you find this helpful you always support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck thank you very much